Hey everyone, my name is Bruno de Gardin and I'm going to present our work on generative adversarial graph convolutional networks for human action synthesis. Newton's first law states that the body at rest will remain at rest and the body in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. So today we present Kinetic GAN, the synthesis of that outside force, a novel architecture that generates the kinetics of the human body. Current approaches are usually based on LSTMs, gate recurrent units or seek to seek models, assuming handcrafted representations with pseudo images or sequence coordinate vectors which loses some inherent structural body information. By generating actions from several scene frames, it also potentially limits their scalability regarding bidirectional temporal dependency, where a future frame modifies a past frame and the increasing difficulty of a past frame conditioning distant future frames. Due to the sophistication of human actions, the state of the art is also focused on local body movement, with normalized joint locations to a root joint and 3D locations projected to 2D locations. To address those limitations, we leverage the benefits of generative adversarial networks with a graph convolutional based generator and discriminator to better represent human skeletons, where we highlight temporal skip connections for better temporal mappings and training stability. The application of a mapping network on the generator better disentangles the variation factors on the latent space, and the use of noise injection as a second input to the generator facilitates the generation of variation. This architecture can be easily extended to a conditional model to generate desired actions. We achieve individual variations, adding random noise to each joint with a corresponding per channel weight to adaptively learn how to affect the skeleton. On the right, we can see four different walking actions generated by the same latent point. Taking a closer look, we can see differences and the cumulative standard deviation plot shows a cohesive behavior achieved with limb edges having higher deviation than their parent joints. However, the occurrence of special artifacts was observed when quality and diversity was increased, so we solved that problem with a regularized use of batch normalization, justified by the fact that feature maps normalization omits any information about individual features magnitude becoming unnoticed by the discriminator. Finally, since the latent space is sampled from a distribution and mapped to intermediate latent space, ranges of low density in the training data becomes difficult to learn for the generator, so we improve quality by truncating those ranges during inference time. Previous methods had the limitation of only generating up to 10 or 20 different actions. Kinetic GAN's architecture has the robustness to synthesize up to 120 different actions by generating human actions in a holistic way directly from the latent space with increased diversity, flexibility and better disentanglement of variation factors. We perform several ablations where we validate different network designs to justify the selected components such as residual functions, regularized batch normalization, noise injection and the mapping network. We further study the importance and depth of the mapping network where we find out that when there is a greater number of different people, a deeper network is more optimal in order to represent a more complex latent space. Our quantitative results show that Kinetic GAN achieves state-of-the-art performance while synthesizing far more different actions. And as I mentioned before, previous works are more focused on local body movement, so we also trained and tested our methods under the same settings, where we significantly overcome the best methods in all datasets. To sum up, we propose a graph-based generative adversarial network synthesizing real body movements directly from the latent space. We increase diversity through a learnable noise injection module without compromising the skeleton structure. We employ a mapping network to better disentangle factors of variation and achieve a better representation of the latent space. And finally, we advance the state of the art, not only in terms of distribution quality metrics, but also under unconstrained environments, we are able to generate up to 120 different actions. Further details and access to our code and pre-training models are available here. Thank you very much for your attention.